Hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, I watched Peter K at the dentist, or talking about the dentist, and everyone was like, no, Michael, my, Ma Peter K was fine, but Michael McIntyre, I'm guessing, was funnier when he talks about the, the dentist. So here we go, we got him as a dentist. My name is Ackle Ackenkacker. <laughs> I think I said that right. Hopefully I did. Anyway, there we go. Let's do this. I'm ready to laugh, so let's do this. I've also had five teeth out <laughs> this year. Okay. That's bad, I know. Four wisdom that teeth, is. all of them, and another tooth I've had to have out because I've had terrible trouble with my teeth. It all started last year. I had this pain in my tooth because, you know, last year I was fine. My knee was fine. My calf was fine. My shoulder was fine. I was in pretty good nick. Then I had this pain in my tooth and I went to the dentist, you know, as you do. Open my mouth, which is key. Obviously, you have to, you have to be asked. <laughs> you don't just walk in, ha? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I sat in the chair and he's like, he looked at my mouth. He's like, you know what? You've got a rotting wisdom tooth. I've got to take it out. I've got to take it out, it's rotting. And I didn't really mind. I didn't even know I had wisdom teeth, to be honest. I know that my wife's had them out, so I'm like, yeah, fine, whatever you like. Also, there's a TV there, I was watching this morning, it's right in my face, I was watching Philip Schofield chatting away. I was like, yeah, go for your life. So he just got to work, and I just lay there, and I, I lay there for a while, I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe more than an hour. And I thought, I've been here ages. So I flicked my eyes over, you know, to see if the dentist was okay, and he wasn't. Oh my God, it's quite stressed. Sort of sweat coming off his forehead. He was straining like this. <laughs> So I tried to ask him if it was okay, which is hard when your mouth is completely numb <laughs> and he had, like, equipment in it. Came out as one sort of sound. Ah! <laughs> Just one noise. Like a Northern Irishman saying mirror. That's an odd moment. Mirror. <laughs> I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> They're not even in the dentist. I don't know what's going on there. I was like, ah! And he pulled back and he went, no, 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 I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. I thought it was something personal. I was like, oh my god. Tell me what the matter is. You called me. He said, I've been a dentist for 30 years. Congratulations, that's excellent. That excellent is real. Real well done. And I've never not been able to get somebody's tooth out. I can't get your tooth out. It's stuck. But okay, look, you need to calm yourself down. I know you're Okay, I'm not in any pain whatsoever. <laughs> I've got nowhere to be. I'm I just want to say, he said he had to take five teeth out, and his smile looks brilliant. It looks like he has a lot of them. <laughs> so I don't know if they're all like fake or what, but they look, they, his teeth are looking good. <laughs> I just wanted to say, like, I was expecting. He said he had five teeth out, I was expecting to see holes, but I'm not seeing holes. Not from this morning, I'm absolutely completely fine. Go away, have a cup of tea, chill out, come back, try again. I believe in you. Well, that's nice. What a nice patient. He said the reason you don't feel any pain is I've numbed your mouth, okay? Look, and he passed me a mirror. I am not going to lie to you. Till the day I die. I will never forget the image that greeted me in the reflection, okay? This side of my face was literally twice the size of this side. There was oh bruising, gosh. I hadn't even noticed. My bib was covered in blood already, I couldn't even see it. There was blood dripping out the side of my face like a sort of vampire. Oh. My eye was sort of closing, I was like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that sounds so awful. This is what I was trying to tell you, we've got to get you out of here. I've got to get you to a hospital, follow me! And he ran out of the room. I just followed on behind him. Hello? Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> I have to say, I felt particularly sorry. The poor people in the waiting room, you know, they're sitting there with the, with the <laughs> fish tank, reading old magazines, reassuring their children everything was going to be fine at the dentist's visit. <laughs> I come out with bruising, blood all over my bib, blood coming out the side of my mouth. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> have anybody seen the dentist? <laughs> so we're like, okay, children, you were right. Come with mummy. Come on, come with mummy now. Come on. I turned around to that idiot on reception. There's some woman there. She's like, would you like to book an appointment with the hygienist? <laughs> the hygienist? I need a fucking plastic surgeon. <laughs> Where's my dentist going? <laughs> I look out the door. This idiot is in his car. He's in his car with the door open. He's still got his gloves on. He's going, get in. <laughs> get in. Are you serious? <laughs> Just get in! <laughs> all right, all right! So I get in the car with this man. He starts hurtling through the streets. Literally ten minutes earlier, I was in the dentist chair, in relative comfort, watching this morning. Now we're driving through traffic. He's hooting and swearing. My wife actually called me up on the phone. Like, hello? Hello? Hello, darling. Are you still at the dentist? I'm with the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> he 
you mean you're at the dentist? I'm not at dentist. <laughs> I'm with dentist. <laughs> you mean you're at the dentist? No, I'm not at the dentist. I'm with the dentist. <laughs> Why are you being so pedantic? I'm not being. Hum, bum, bum. <laughs> I'm in the car. Oh, you're on your way home. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> well, what, what is wrong with you? The dentist is riding. The dentist is riding. No, he's riding. <laughs> he's writing. The dentist is writing. <laughs> the dentist is rising. <laughs> the dentist is writing. <laughs> the dentist is writhing. I'll call you a waiter. You're calling a waiter? You're having lunch with the dentist. <laughs> Leave it! <laughs> Why do you think I'm... Finally, up at this door. He's like, you see that door? I'm like, yeah. Go in there, OK? That's a hospital. They're going to treat you. You're going to be fine. They know to expect you. Just tell them your name. Everything's going to be fine. Get out. Come on, get out! So I get out to this guy. He just drives off. He leaves me. I'm now standing on the pavement, right? I've still got the bib on, the blood soaked That's horrible. bib. I'm standing there. I saw my reflection in the glass. I have to. I looked horrific. I was worried I was going to startle the receptionist, so I came in at my best angle. <laughs> Hello, sir, can I help you? Yes, I was wondering. <laughs> she said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Have you been attacked? So, no, I haven't been attacked. I don't go out in the bib expecting a thought. <laughs> I haven't been attacked so many times, I now wear absorbent clothing. Apparently, you're expecting me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, OK, sir, can I take your name, please? Now, the problem is, and you'll know this if you're a local anesthetic, you can't move your lips. I had no control of my lips. And you need that to do certain letters of the alphabet. The M, for example, greatly requires lip work. <laughs> M, and I couldn't do it. I need that to identify myself. So she's like, can I take your name, please? Yes. I use Akum Akin Kaka. Akul Akin Kaka. Oh, Aku. Ackle hugging gaga? Oh, what's my lip? Right, okay, I think the best thing for you to do is if you head down the corridor, take a seat in the waiting room, and we'll try to get to the bottom of this, okay? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was quite pissed off she didn't recognize me, okay? I was on quite a lot of television. I know that this side of my face was pretty much, you know, unrecognizable, but this side was fine. I tried to jog her memory as I went down the corridor. Unbelievable. <laughs> she never even looked around. So we get into the waiting room now, and the anesthetic starts to wear off. I feel a bit, you know, it hurts a bit now. I start making a sort of low, sort of ET type sound on my own in the corner. <laughs> what a horrible experience, guys. <laughs> I, 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 I tried to be nice, I tried to look at other people in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I think for everybody, the nurse came in quite quickly. Akul Akinkaka? <laughs> I didn't respond, I just sat there. <laughs> she came right up to my face. Excuse me. Yeah. Are you Apple Akin Kaka? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what is your name? Apple Akin Kaka. That is actually me. Sorry, Taps. <laughs> this is my real name, obviously, is Apple Akin Kaka. But here they know me as Apple Akin Kaka. I'm a <laughs> so they take me up to this room, sort of private room, and she's really nice to me now. She's like, oh my god, you've no. had a terrible day, haven't you, sir? Like, I have. <laughs> I had a real horrible day. Please, are you going to help me? She's like, yes, don't worry, don't panic at all. We do this all the time. We're going to give you a general anaesthetic. We're going to take your tooth out. Everything's going to be fine. If you just want to take all your clothes off and pop this hospital gown on, we'll take you straight through to surgery. For all my clothes off. You say, take all your clothes off, pop the gown, and we'll take you through. Why do I have to take all my clothes off? All the patients have to wear the hospital gown. That's, that's, that's hospital policy. Yes, but you don't seem to understand the situation. I've got a problem with my tooth, <laughs> which is located in my lap. <laughs> I don't have a tooth embedded in my arm. 
They can all wear my home clothes. But no, you'll know what it's like if you've been to hospital. They humiliate you for no reason at all. You have to put this sort of piece of shit, floral, thin gown on the wrong way round with your ass hanging out. I have to go into the loo with this gown, with my, literally my bare bottom hanging out of the back, and you put this on for no reason. It's why everyone in the hospital has their clothes on the right way round. You have to put it on like that. I come out. Take the picture. Yes, that's perfect. Fuck off, it's perfect. <laughs> I've got a tooth hanging out, and now I go nugs on out. There's no reason why I have to have nugs on out. It's disgraceful, it's despicable, it's deplorable, it's abhorrent. What on earth are you going to do to me? I'm just so anesthetic that requires access to my ass. I'm on plenty. <laughs> There will be repercussions. <laughs> There'll be what? Repercussions! <laughs> Don't take that tone with me, Mr. Akinkaka. For the last time, <laughs> my name is Akinkaka! <laughs> now I have to follow this woman down the corridor, literally down the corridor. There's no way I'm going to walk down a hospital corridor with my ass just flapping away here. So people just happen to be behind me looking at my ass. No, that is not going to happen. So I go down the, I go down the wall like this, unbelievable. <laughs> Somebody's actually doing the same thing towards me. All right, quickly, Evie! <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Finally, they lie me down on a hospital bed, and I'm thrilled now because I'm my ass is concealed. I'm happy. The anaesthetist comes in, a very serious, sort of quite old man. Hello. I'm the anaesthetist. I'm going to give you a general anaesthetic. I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to give you a small prick on your left arm. You're going to be knocked out immediately. You okay with that, Michael? My <gasps> He says, yes, I know exactly who you are. My three daughters are big fans of yours. Oh, that's fair kind. Thank you. Thank you. Then he put the needle in my arm, and he went, my wife and I not so keen, and put me out! <laughs> oh, the day I was I was like, you mother... <laughs> I woke up, I don't know how many hours later, two or three hours later, I didn't know where I was. Sometimes I wake up at home in a deep sleep, and I don't know where I am. This was the deepest sleep I've ever had. It was a general <laughs> anaesthetic. I woke up, it was in bed, it was bright. It was hot. I'd come out of the covers, you know, when, you know, when like in a heat wave, you come out, you know, when your ass <laughs> is at the highest point, you come out of the duvet. You know, when you're lying down, uh, at some stage during the night, the duvet sort of tucks in, and you just sort of roll out. Like that. So, me every night, uh, not in specifically my ass hanging out, but <laughs> I like to hug the covers instead of have the, hover the covers hug me. <laughs> I just want to say I find something absolutely hilarious about a guy in a suit jumping around and just like rolling around on stage and skipping and stuff. It's just so cute to watch. I wake up. Within moments, I feel this breeze coming in the back. <laughs> so I turn around to see my entire family standing there. <laughs> At which point my son said, pants down, you're the loser. His son said, what? <laughs> That's the only thing I didn't understand. But okay, that was cool. I did not, I did not know Ackle Eckenkucker. Um, Michael McIntyre. Okay, cool. I definitely watch more. I've never heard of this person, but people were suggesting it, as I said, because I watched Peter Kay at the dentist. I don't know which one was funnier. They were quite similar. This story, though, had like the horror factor, like the... Like the whole time, I'm just imagining what he was going through, and I'm like, it's I'm in physical pain because I've had some very bad dentist freaking experiences, just really horrible. Um, so I just like it, it. Half of what he's like, I understand, is funny, and half of it is, <laughs> but the other half is, oh shit, that sounds like it hurts, and it's actually like physically hurting me. Just imagining it just sounds so awful. Peter's trip to the dentist was a lot lighter and fluffier and not so ouch. <laughs> not so horrible and horrifying and scarring. But anyway, um, there you go, dude. I'm going to add this man to my list. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Thank you to those of you that um, suggested it. I will definitely watch more. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Whatever you're off to do, have a great one, and I'll be around.